Harry, there's many wonderful gifts you've given me, not the least of which is meeting this wonderful lady some years ago. You're doing a movie called One from the Heart, and uh, you're working with this great lady, and uh, we've spent many of your birthdays together, many Thanksgivings together. You've seen her in Backdraft, you've seen her in Risky Business, Hand That Rocks the Cradle, the great person, the great actress, Rebecca De Mornay. Hi, everybody. I am so excited uh, to be here. I cannot believe, yeah, I cannot believe this, Harry Dean. Wow. Wow. So um, I met Harry Dean when I first came to LA. He was the first film actor I got to know. I was 21. I was an acting student. He was 54. And working on Francis Ford Coppola's movie, One from the Heart. Um, the first thing that he said to me was, do you believe in magic? <laughs> do you remember that? He actually said that. I thought it was really cheesy, but it, it sort of stuck with me, and somehow or other, um, we wound up talking so much on the set of that movie in the dressing room, and he wound up telling, I started to see what acting really was just watching him. He told me the story about his little brother in Kentucky when he was, they were little kids and they were playing and his little brother started crying but was embarrassed that he was crying and he demonstrated how his little brother used to open his eyes really wide and so that the tears that were stuck on his eyelashes that were really long would would come unglued, so his eyes would come unglued. Uh, and as he was telling it, he, his eyes filled with tears. And I remember thinking, God, his sensitivity. And I had never seen a, a, an adult man cry at that point. And I thought, that's an amazing thing that he, he's so fearless as a man. He's, he's a tough guy, but he can, he's not afraid to be vulnerable. And that really, really touched me. Um, we wound up living together for a year and a half. Um, uh, uh, you can imagine I learned a lot about acting, and after a year and a half, um, <laughs> uh, I, I got a movie called Risky Business. After working with Harry Dean, I used to work on my auditions with him, and uh, I remember running the scene, and he would say, I don't believe you. I said, what? what? I, I just said my line. What do you mean you don't believe me? He said, I, I don't believe you. So I was horrified and I just kept s saying the line again until he did believe me. And I came to realize his sense of truth. I mean, there's so much about him as an actor. Uh, it's no wonder and I'm so happy that Vidyas has seen fit to make an, uh, an award, a Harry Dean Stanton Award. but. The things that he understands about acting, uh, his, like I said, it's like I think it's almost impossible for him to say a line untruthfully. He's got this insane comic timing. Um, and he used to talk about Max Reinhardt uh, a lot, like you cannot be anything on stage that you're not, that you don't inhabit off stage, I remember. And, and he really took that to heart. That's, Everything that he is off stage, he brings on stage and vice versa. I mean, the thing that really strikes me about Harry Dean's acting is how his ability to be in the moment. He's, um, he just goes with what is uh, on camera and off camera. He might be more attuned to being in the moment than anyone I've ever met. And this really, I think, along with great technical skills, informs his acting and his person, as well as his lifelong investigation into Eastern philosophy, um, which is, has been a huge influence on his acting and on his life. He used to, you know, Krishnamurti, he used to quote him a lot, don't, let, don't ever let anyone tell you what to do, for they may be wrong, including the speaker. Um, or he would say, there's, when I was really upset about something, he'd say, there's just nothing you can do. Or, you are nothing. Uh, but one of his favorite people that he's, he likes to quote is Lao Tse. 
the Chinese philosopher, and he's, he's told me this quote uh, maybe a hundred times over the last 35 years. Um, and I, just because it's his night, I want to say it tonight. It's very short, but this is the quote that I think Harry Dean's come to embody in his acting and in his life. When you realize where you come from, you naturally become tolerant, amused, kind-hearted as a grandmother, and dignified as a king. Immersed in wonder, you can deal with whatever life brings you. And when death comes, you are ready. So, there's so much I could say. Harry Dean is probably um, one of the most important people to me in my life. I was very nervous about speaking here tonight because it's, and I, and I called Harry Dean, I said, look, um, they want me to come talk and I'm just very nervous. And he said, why? I said, I don't know, because there's, you mean so much to me, what can I talk about? You know, wh wh what am I gonna say? And he just interrupted me and said, tell them we're soulmates. <sighs> and we are soulmates. Um, and Harry Dean brings soul. Even though he's not religious, he brings soul to every moment of his life on screen and off like nobody else. I'm thrilled that you're being honored tonight in this way. You deserve it. You always have. And everybody knows it. I love you, Harry Dean. Forever.